The first Wednesday of every month is a good energy day at KGW. It's when we feature people, businesses, and communities doing good things for the environment. And today, we're highlighting a bunch of Central Oregon high school students, a solar-powered car, and a cross-country race through the desert southwest. Chris McGinnis is live in studio. And Chris, these cars are so cool. Yeah, you know, Christine, they built this thing from scratch, right? And they fundraised the entire project themselves. The solar-powered car is pretty cool. But what's cooler? The lifelong lessons these kids are taking with them. Meet our future problem solvers and a few members of the Oregon Solar Car Team. Our story has been a comeback story and been resilient from the beginning. Canceled by COVID in 2020, a failed inspection in 2021, and a crash that wrecked their 2022 model. And someone ran into our trailer and crushed the car. The Oregon Solar Car Team has persevered. Caden Cooper and the team of 10 teens representing four Central Oregon high schools have done something remarkable. I remember the first time the car drove under its own power. That was one of the most crazy and adrenaline filling things for me. They fundraised for and then built their own solar powered car from scratch. Soldering every wire, tightening every bolt, connecting every solar panel joint by joint. Woo! then carted it off to Texas for a showdown with 15 other teams from around the U.S. in the annual Solar Car Challenge. So we start in Fort Worth, Texas at the Texas Motor Speedway, and then we drive over eight days to Palmdale, California. The first few days, the field was whittled down through a vigorous inspection process. One misstep and the car would be disqualified. Only after passing that test did they earn the right to race in stages from Texas to California? I expect us to be able to go, I don't know, 45 or 50 the whole time, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. I expect a few flat tires, but our team is prepared to fix it on the go and keep racing. Resiliency is what advisor and band Trinity Lutheran science teacher Tom Stuby teaches his kids. The students on my team become master problem solvers. You have to make quick, just really important decisions really fast. The team was in second place in their division when an outbreak of COVID shut down this year's race in El Paso. So they did what they've done all along. We found two real racetracks that would let us come and use their track in the middle of Arizona. They improvised, trading laps on an Arizona raceway. And I'm just super proud of our team and what we've accomplished. Caden, you should be. Caden and Ethan, who we heard from in this story, are among several graduates en route to pursuing what else? Engineering at their prospective colleges this fall. By the way, you can catch a glimpse of the Oregon Solar Car during OMSI's Festival of Science next month here in Portland, hmm. September 16th and 17th.